Apple just officially announced the 2024 Worldwide Developers Conference, which means that we now know when to expect iOS 18. So in this video, we're going to discuss the dates for WWDC 2024. We're going to talk about the invite and potentially some hidden meaning in that. We're going to talk about what to expect from iOS 18 and also if we could potentially see any new hardware released at this event. Okay, so this is the official graphic for WWDC 2024. And does anything stand out as an Easter egg to you? Because if you don't know, Apple always puts Easter eggs in their event invites. There are, you know, images that they use to promote these events. There's always something in there. There's always a clue of what to expect at this event. And those colors look pretty similar, not spot on, but pretty similar to Siri. So we all know that AI is expected to be a big part of this event and iOS 18 in general. So this could be a hint at Siri being included in the AI push for Apple. Now, also what's interesting here is that they combined the two W's. So I don't think Apple has ever combined these two W's and I'm not sure what that's exactly about but it reminds me of Volkswagen for some reason. So I'm not sure if there's a clue in there, but if you have any theories, let me know below. But the biggest hint of all came from Jaws on Twitter, where he said, mark your calendars for WWDC 24, June 10th through 14th. It's going to be, here we go, absolutely incredible. Now pay attention to the two words that are capitalized there, A and I for absolutely incredible. AI features are basically confirmed from that tweet alone. I know he had that sitting in his drafts forever. I know he was excited to hit publish on that tweet, but there's not really much more to this graphic. So if you have any theories, let me know in a comment right. below. Okay, so now let's move on to the official dates and why they're a little bit strange. And I say that because this is the first time since 2020 where the event is being held on the second week of June and not the first full week of June. So besides 2020, the, the latest time since then was in 2016. So it's pretty rare for Apple to not host these events on the first full week of June. So usually how it goes with these events is they start on a Monday and they go all the way through the week. However, the important stuff all happens on day one. So on June 10th is when I would expect to see iOS 18 beta one get released to developers. And of course, all the other operating systems that beta software should roll out that day as well. And keep in mind, I will be live streaming the event live with you guys here on YouTube and giving you a first look, the first look on YouTube of iOS 18, because it will be in the form of that live stream. So make sure you are subscribed if you're not already, so you don't miss out on that live stream. Now, according to Apple's press release, they say WWDC 24 will spotlight the latest iOS, iPadOS, macOS, watchOS, tvOS, and visionOS advancements. So this confirms that we will in fact be seeing the next major version of Vision OS for the Apple Vision Pro. There was a lot of speculation of, you know, since it just came out in February, if we would already have version 2.0 in June at the Worldwide Developers Conference, but it looks like Apple will be unveiling that next major version, which is going to be pretty exciting because it will be the first, you know, major change in the life cycle of the Apple Vision Pro. So I'm excited for that. And there's also going to be an in-person experience on June 10th for developers and select others to watch the keynote live at Apple Park. Okay, so now let's talk about what to expect from iOS 18 because this has to be one of the most hyped iOS versions I think I've ever seen. I mean, I cannot remember the last time there was this much hype for an iOS software release. And I think for once, I agree with the crowd. Usually I'm anti like, oh, don't believe everything you read. Don't get your hopes up too high. But this year is different, man. I, I think that our hopes are high, but I, I think that's, that's valid. I think that we are going to have a major release this year for the iPhone. And it's not just about AI, which we'll talk about AI in a moment, but we also have potential changes coming to the home screen in the form of customization. And this news is not just some random person. This comes from Mark Gurman at Bloomberg, who said that we're going to have more customizability on the home screen. And Mac rumors elaborated by saying that the app icons will likely remain locked to an invisible grid system on the home screen, but users will be able to arrange icons more freely on iOS 18. For example, we expect that the update will introduce the ability to create blank spaces, rows, and columns between app icons. 
icons. That is going to be huge for people who like to theme their device and make their device look different and more like a jailbroken iPhone. So you better believe I'm gonna have some setup videos coming when iOS 18 gets released, if this turns out to be true, which I think it probably is coming from a trustworthy source like that. But I would not expect a major overhaul of iOS as a whole. Like I wouldn't expect, you know, changes to mirror vision OS like we saw from a sketchy rumor early on. I do not see that happening at all. Okay, so we also have to mention the AI features because AI is going to be a central part of WWDC 2024. Not only for just everything they've done, but Apple also understands that investors are going to be watching this event and hoping and expecting to see, you know, what, how where Apple is in terms of AI compared to OpenAI, compared to Google, compared to everybody doing AI right now. All eyes are going to be on Apple to deliver in terms of AI with iOS 18. So you better believe this is going to be a big part of the conference. Now we're expecting a lot of behind the scenes improvements in terms of AI, but also a potentially smarter Siri. Now, what's interesting here is that Apple is going to integrate their own AI models into iOS 18 to improve applications like messages, notes, and other first party apps. And they're mainly going to be behind the scenes tasks, like I mentioned, because Apple is apparently going to partner with Google to have their Gemini model do the heavy lifting and also power the chatbot feature, which may or not be baked into Siri. Now, Apple is not going to announce this partnership apparently until maybe the summer. So I would not expect any type of partnership or mention of Google in the Worldwide Developers Conference keynotes. And Bloomberg has reported that this deal is not finalized yet. So it's not official yet. Apple has also been talking with OpenAI. AI and multiple other companies as well to leverage their AI models for generative AI. Now, another major feature coming to iOS 18 is RCS support. So last year, Apple officially confirmed that RCS would be coming to messages later in 2024. And this is going to greatly improve conversations between iPhone and Android users. So we're talking about high quality media sending, you know, being able to kick people out of groups, just so many things, group, maybe typing indicators in the group. We're going to see so many improvements with RCS and that's going to be a major major addition to iOS. And then here's another more recent one. We're hearing from Mark Gurman at Bloomberg that the AirPods Pro are going to get a hearing aid mode with iOS 18. And this is not going to require any new hardware. This is just going to come via a software update. And he does not mention if this is going to require the AirPods Pro 2 or not, but I would assume so since those do have the H2 chip inside as opposed to the H1 inside of the original AirPods Pro. And then according to Mac rumors, we're also expecting to see new accessibility features. So these are going to be features in iOS 18 and macOS 15 that are going to have adaptive voice shortcuts, new categories section for live speech, and also more applications are going to support custom font sizes. So those are all great features for those who use accessibility, especially on a daily basis. And of course, I would expect Apple to release something about the accessibility features coming in iOS 18 before the Worldwide Developers Conference. Apple always gives us a teaser, a sneak peek at those accessibility features before the software gets announced. And then also according to Mac rumors, the Apple ID might get renamed to Apple account. So you might no longer refer to it as your Apple ID account. It's just going to be your Apple account. And I'm sure there's going to be hundreds of other features in iOS 18. As I always uncover here on the channel, you know to expect hundreds of other features, but those are just some of the rumored ones we've heard so far. And then lastly, I want to talk about hardware because for the past two years, Apple has unveiled hardware at their Worldwide Developers Conference in 2023 and in 2022. So we might expect it here in 2024, but we've not really heard anything to indicate that we're going to see hardware at this conference. There's been no rumors speculating that we're going to see hardware at this event. However, it's happened two years in a row, so I would not count it out. Now, what could we see? Well, the iPad and iPad mini are rumored to come out this year, but we don't have a set release date on those. So we could see an iPad mini or a new you know, base model iPad. We could see a new HomePod, or we could see some of the M3 Max that have still not been updated, like the M3 Mac Mini, the M3 Mac Studio, or the 
M3 Mac Pro. Any of those could also be released at this event, but as of right now, we don't have any speculation, any rumors as to any of those coming at this event, but we should see more as time goes on and as we get closer to event day. So yeah, that is what to expect at the 2024 Worldwide Developers Conference and iOS 18 Beta 1. I'm super excited for this. I hope you guys are as well. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you are subscribed if you are not already. I will be covering iOS 18 in great detail like I always do. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Make sure to check out that live stream in June and I will see you soon.